Welcome back guys, it's Scott with our Vibrogenics and our 10 minute full body workout today. Today we're going to add a little resistance. We've got kettlebells and dumbbells. If you don't have these at home, don't worry about it. You can use a milk jug or water bottles as well. Let's get our machine set up. First off, we're going to turn the plate on with our switch on the side of the machine. We're going to start that full body session. We're going to add in a couple extras today. Let's add in a little muscle pain, mood elevation, and into the fitness area, let's go with uh, some core, and add it in for the men. So we're going to start just by getting a little bit warm, step up onto the plate, some easy body weight squats, just to get a little heat into the lower half of the body. Knees are going to track forward as you drive those hips back and down behind you. Now let's get that upper body in, add a little reach. Big squat, reach to the ceiling. Gonna add a little heat into the upper body here as well. Go for two more. All right, grab that kettlebell. We're gonna start with some body weight squats. Feet set up outside the hips. Shoulders come back and down. We're gonna squat the hips back. Put the weight into the heels of our feet. And keep those shoulders pulled back and down. We're gonna lead with the hips back and then drive through the midfoot, push us back to the top. One more rep, a little shake out. So as you remember, we're doing 10 reps of each exercise, each set. We get this 10 minute workout in. So as you work on that range, think about sitting a little bit deeper and not leaning forward with that kettlebell. Big drive through the heels. You got two more. One more. All right, come on down. Set that kettlebell out of the way. We're gonna work into the chest. Some offset push-ups. One hand on the plate, one off to the side. You're gonna drop your chest down to elbow height. Knees or toes. Just like where you're at today. Five on each side, we're gonna rotate to the other side. And if you'd like, you can pop up under those toes as well. Get a little extra load. And you part of that one. Now, abs need to be in really, really strong so your midsection isn't dipping out of each push-up. Last set. Long, straight back. One more. All right, come on up. Grab those water bottles or dumbbells. Come back up to the plate. Feet underneath the hips. Dumbbells together. Little tricep extension. Bring them down, touching the base of the neck. Elbows tracking forward. A big squeeze on the back side of the arm. There you go. Now, elbows are gonna stay just in front of your face. Gonna isolate the back side of the arm and hold at the top. A little bit of shake out. Go right back into it. Dumbbells together. Elbows in tight. Point those elbows towards the front. Maybe towards that TV screen right now or iPad screen. Uh, abs are braced to keep that upper body steady. In fact, just keep those abs on tight through this whole. 10 minute session today. One more. All right, now we shake when we get to the arms. Little combination move. One right curl, one left curl, one double hammer curl. All right, everybody jump in. Elbow stay in your shoulders. Get squeeze at the top. Supinating that weight as you twist to the top in that curl. Gonna lift the head of the bicep. And then you're gonna get a full range of the long head of the bicep and that hammer curl. A little combination movement to get a little fatigue in those arms a little bit quicker. So really concentrate on that elbows staying underneath the shoulders. Do that curl there. It's gonna isolate the front of the arm. Big squeeze. One more hammer curl. Alright, big shake out. Go through that one more time. 
a little shake of the plate as well. Gives a little bit different feel to the body as you're going through each of these moves here. So, really think about keeping the arms steady and squeezing your bicep through each move here. Just a little bit more. Shoulders back and down. Palms to the top. I want you to really think about pulling those dumbbells up in a hammer curl. Like there's a rope tied to the end of it. One more time. And hold there. Shake out. Then bring those plates, or bring those dumbbells up, shoulder height. A little press, single, single, or double presses here. You decide which one works a little bit better for you today. Either way, you're gonna work that unilateral training in the shoulders here. Now lock in the abs really tight, keep that upper body steady, and bring those elbows just to that shoulder height, not too low. You wanna keep that load tension the whole time. One more. Good shake. Let's go back again one more time. Shoulder height. Back straight to the ceiling. Eye gaze right out front. Now as you push, keep that lower half of the body steady. It's all about a military style press up here. Keeps all the work in the shoulders. A little bit of tricep as well. One more. Shake it out. Then we're going to go into the side of the shoulders, side of the arms here. So we'll rotate the raise. We come just under shoulders, just in front of shoulders. Close it back down. So each time I want you to imagine you have a target. Target, target, ease it down. Every point of contact, you're going to hit that target. It's all about precision. Precision to create a little fatigue. Side of the arms, shoulders. Let's go push you on fire right about now, yeah? Two more. All right, I bet you're ready for that shake, aren't you? Take them all out. Shoulders, upper body. We got one more set of those. Elbows back to 90. Let's rotate them through. Now remember, are you firing it on those cylinders here? Hitting your target every time. Just under, just in front. Check it out. The mirrors don't lie. <laughs> Neither does the camera, right? So, precision. So ease into it. You're like a well-oiled machine right about now, yeah? Last two. One. All right. Come on down. We're gonna finish off a little bit of core work here. So take one of those dumbbells, water bottles. Bring your booty about mid plate there. Bring that dumbbell to your chest, knees above hips. And we're just gonna twist the obliques. Bring yourself to the front of that plate as well. Each twist right and left is gonna be one rep. I want the movement to come out of the middle of the chest. That way the heat's gonna stay in the obliques. And if you're feeling a little bit wobbly, you can bring those toes to the ground as long as you keep twisting the upper torso. Sometimes that little vibration through the plate sends you a little sideways. Last one. All right, plate down. We're gonna get into the lower abdominals now. So come to the edge of that plate, hands behind, lift the chest, knees up, hip over hips, front leg out, back leg out. Now if you want to put a little more load in these upper abdominals as well, you can lay back just a little bit more. And then you're focusing into the lower abdominals as well as those upper abdominals here. Foot presses. Across the room, your choice. You can tap 
we can start both feet from the ground, lifting up. That's still gonna give you that lower abdominal as well as upper abdominal work. One more each leg. All right, back to that twist. Grab your dumbbell. Slide the butt back mid plate. Pull that dumbbell on the chest. Lean back. Slide to the front of the plate. A little bit more here. And then we twist front and back. A little Russian twist here. If you want a little bit more, you can lay back into it just a little bit. And again, bring the feet grounded for just a little bit less of a challenge. You got two more each side. And back to the leg extensions to finish. Lay back, slide your butt back to the edge of that plate. Lean back, front leg, back leg. Full extension. You can press that heel all the way across the room. Keep that chest lifted, even if you are leaning back for a little more upper abdominal challenge. A little more extension. Two more each leg. You're almost there. And hold. There you go. Let's get a little stretch in. Your legs should use or need. Just a little bit of a stretch there. Quad. Other side. Quad. Let's get some of that upper back. Keep coming back to the edge of the plate. Grab the top of the bar. Lean back into it. Stretch through those lats. Shoulders. And then just lean into that right arm. Get some more of that mid upper back rhomboid stretch. And switch to the other side. Alright guys, that's your 10 minute full body resistance workout. We'll see you next time.